Hi guys, I'm going to show you a quick video on how I sew the waistband on my cherry skirt. So this is with a finished skirt already. This is what it looks like. Um, it already has the waistband attached to it. But I'm going to just kind of show you how I arranged the skirt on my sewing machine to be able to sew it on. So you're going to want your skirt wrong side up. So you should have your lining layer with your ruffles on top and your waistband at this point should be pinned to the right side of your skirt and it won't have any elastic in it. Mine already has the elastic at this point. So this is the right side of my skirt and my waistband is on the right side and this is the lining side or wrong side and my waistband is on the back side of that. So my waistband is pinned right here and this is the lining. So with that side up, you're going to pin your waistband down on. So I'm going to put a couple of pins in here showing you how it would kind of look after it was pinned. I'm not going to pin the whole thing. I'm just going to go up go ahead and go around and pin a couple of places so you can kind of see what my pins will look like. So I'll have my pins in here like this. And this is the lining side and then this is the right side and my waistband is pinned to my right side. Then I'm going to put this in my sewing machine and I'm going to kind of fold it out so my, my lining side is still up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my skirt and I'm going to put it I'm going to kind of flip it over. And when you flip it over, you're going to flip your pins out. So at this point, your skirt should be right side up. And your waistband, this is really tricky because it already has the elastic in it. So it's not as maneuverable as normal. So now you should be right side up and your waistband should be pinned to your right side. Like that. And you're going to take that right side and place it, so I'm right here, and I'm going to place that right down on my machine so that my skirt is creating a circle. And just a second, I'm going to grab my, my camera so you guys can see this better. I'm going to go ahead and slide it and put it under my presser foot. So my lining side is up on my presser foot, and the right side of my fabric and my waistband is going down on my presser foot. And let me just go ahead and bring the camera over here so you guys can see what's going on. So if I bring this over here, let me see if I can get this to show. So this is the lining side. Sorry, this is kind of tricky to get my phone in this little spot. So this is the lining side of my skirt and the right side is underneath and my waistband is underneath. So my lining side is up and my right side is down and my skirt as you can see here is going up and around. It's not going down the arm of my machine but instead it's going up and around. So as I sew this through here I'll be able to rotate my skirt layers around and I've got all of this fluff coming out the back side of my machine here where there's nothing in the way for it. So I've just got this part over here. Are there any questions about that? You guys kind of understand how I've got that on my machine to keep all of the layers in the right spot. If you have any questions you can go ahead and post them later. I hope that helps you Kristen.